What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the RC Kogan. This is the Half and the Half Not Season 9 episode, I believe. It's episode 5. I know they kind of got it messed up with. I still don't get why they still got Season 8, Episode 13, but it's really Season 9. If I'm thinking about it, that's what it is. Um, Don't know what to start, but I might just talk about what's thing on top of my head. Um, Let me think. Let's just say that we see Veronica in the gay club because you remember that we finally got to see who she was sleeping with and the guy that she was talking about, he was gay. That's him. And she said she wanted to talk, but she really wanted to dance. She wanted to drink. And you know, her and this woman was about to go in on each other. They was going to kill each other pretty much. And yeah, that's what happened. Um... She was dancing and trying to do a battle dance. It was pretty funny. It was entertaining the way it was. Kind of laughing in my head. You know what I'm saying? You know, we didn't see Jeff Reno in this episode. We didn't see Tina in this episode. We see Wyatt. You know, you know he's still getting high. Talking about he don't care if he die. He don't care. That is Wyatt. And we did see um, Blodgett. Bl- Bl- I think that's his name. He's in the bed with two women, and that's what Catherine find out. Because Hannah saw them in bed together. Because that was the the um, the preview of what happened. That that's what happened, and pretty much, she he begs Hannah not to tell Catherine because you know Catherine's his boss, but also his, you know, she, he's his her side piece. Cause remember, she's still married to Jim. They not even divorced. They still together. And the funny thing is. Hannah even said that you marry, but Catherine don't care. Let's not forget that Jim, Jim wasn't loyal either because he slept with Candace, kept seeing her. And I'm not sure, he slept some other woman named uh, Celine. And speaking of which, he um, confronted Celine saying that you killed my daughter Amy, or whatever her name was, killed her, point blank period. And she said that, no, I didn't do it. Celine said, no, I didn't do this. Who you think that killed, um, was it Amy or Angela or Caitlin? What the fuck her name is? Kind of like, you know, pretty much that's what happened. And Veronica know that he was, she was, um, he was flaming her. And yeah, that's what she said. That's that. So let me see what else happened. And of course, Hannah called Kathleen and um, told her that she saw Blasey in the bed with two women. Remember, that's her home. But why did he pay for that place? But then she found out that Wyatt was dead and he was out. Because you remember, he escaped. And he still, well, actually, he did change. Wearing his regular clothes. Remember, he was wearing Madison's clothes. When he stole it after he put him out of his, you know, put him to sleep. So, anyway, we didn't see Jim in this episode. Wait a minute, yes we did. We see Jim, you know, they was talking, and then him and his two guys, those two guys got into it. Another of them got killed. So I guess they working together? I was pretty interested, because I thought they was going to kill each other. And it turns out, they know that Veronica is paying one of them, and Jim is paying one of them. So now they're gonna go and do what guys know what. So I don't know what they what to go do. They just drove off. That was that. Um, we see Candace and Benny, cause he she basically told Benny that Miss tell you stay here. Of course Miss got jumped because we find that Miss lied to them alone, and um Benny no Benny, or was it Benny? Benny knew he was lying. So of course they uh. They beat the shit out of him, saying that he need to be punished for lying. And then we know that Ben reached out to um, Karen, or whatever her name is, reached out to um, her and checking on her to see if she was okay. She said that you get the house. But yeah, I don't think he's going to make it by the mall because I know he's going to get executed. But we'll see what happened because then she called him back. And apologize for what she said to him because she think Ben for she think Ben for saving her life. Remember her. 
her um Oh, for saving her life because for saving what he did. So anyway, guys, I don't know what's going to happen. Next week's going to be an interesting episode. I'm now just basing out shit. And Kenneth, you know, remember, she didn't want to talk to this guy. But he told her for what happened to Charles' wife. I think she passed away, pretty much. And basically, that's what happened. And besides, she I think she's going to think about it because I think we're going to see Charles again. Because remember, he, she also, he also basically tell her that he love you. And Candace know what he done. I get why she's upset because she had the right to be. You put her in the trunk. You treat her like crap. You were treating her well. You was controlling her because you had two personality. But so... I guess we'll see, cause I don't know what's gonna happen in the end. Of course, Hannah and Catherine, Catherine talked to the guy Bryce, they told him to get the hell out of my house, and then told Y that he had to leave and Y said, give him my car keys, because Y know he have his key, and he told him that he's gonna die and Y don't give a shit. He don't care if he take his own life after he want, you know he don't care. The man was a freaking addict, pretty much. So, anyway, I don't know what else to talk about. I guess that's all I got to say because I was just browsing, talking about so-and-so. But anyway, guys, don't forget to wait, comment, subscribe. Please turn on the notification and share the video. Peace.